automated workflows of vFiler. You can see I have already unloaded the three uh, rapid indexer, which was more of a desktop version of vFiler. And now we're going to uh, demonstrate the real power of vFiler, which is automated filing, uh, document capture, indexing, filing, hands free, automated. And I've loaded up this first workflow. Hopefully, you've watched the first three videos on Rapid Indexer so you can get a little idea what vFiler is going to do. Um, again, this is vFiler, and we have the Windows Capture input folders here and output folders down here. I'm going to remove the output folders and let you watch vFiler recreate them live from index information obtained uh, during the indexing process. Now, I've also scanned in a batch of documents here in the upper right corner. So if I open this up, you can see that we have a batch of accounts receivable invoices. Again, this could be a bill of lading, a packing slip, not just an invoice. It's a universal document uh, for demonstration purposes. But I also want to keep these two documents here uh, with this first page document. And we're going to use OCR to zone out the word invoice because it's prevalent on the first page. Notice it's not here on the second or third page of this batch, but again, if it sees it on the next uh, page, which would be the fourth page in the batch, the word invoice, it'll split the batch and keep everything uh, behind it with the first page. So hopefully that makes sense. We can use barcode uh, for the same step. Okay. And then, so this is our steps here, our processes of this workflow. When this workflow begins to run, it's going to capture this document from the input folder, use OCR uh, process to split when it sees the word invoice. The second OCR process is going to read the invoice number. And then when we get to our indexer, this is different than our first three videos. We're actually going to use our indexer to connect to the accounting system or database and perform a query. We're going to look for that invoice number. When we find it, when we find that invoice number, we will also be able to obtain the customer's name, maybe the purchase order that was used by the customer, salesman's name. All that is metadata that already exists in the accounting system. vFiler will go fetch it, query for it, bring it back, and we'll use it for filing in Windows folders. We can upload it to our high point system, publish it to a database. We can do anything we want with that information once we obtain it. We're also going to do a full page OCR after the indexer so we can convert to a searchable PDF and our last step is publish to Windows folders where these documents can be archived and also uploaded into our high point document management system. So that all that being said, let's go ahead and run this. And this could be running on a server in the background 24-7. This document in the upper right corner just disappeared, and it's split it into five, and it's already creating the Windows folders over here. It's already filing. Okay, you can watch it file. It's on the third document. It's on the fourth one now. And you can see that fourth folder just got created, and it's almost done with the fifth document, and it's all done. So vFiler has captured that batch, split it, separated it into individual documents, kept all the supporting documents together, okay, did an OCR process on the invoice number, our indexer did an ODBC connection to the accounting system, did a database query, found all the metadata, which is the customer's name, all that other information like the PO number, then we did a full page OCR, converted to searchable PDF, and our last step was published to Windows folders and we created all these folders dynamically. Okay, So again, at the end of the video is a couple links for more training on how to create these, uh, these, these workflows and uh, we encourage you to download the software, kick the tires, watch some more videos and see a real world demo so you can actually see your documents running in the software. Thank you.